Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make poached versamold or how to cure your versamold using boiling water. Since water boils at 212 Fahrenheit or 100 degrees Celsius, uh, it's right at the threshold that allows versamold to actually cure fully. Uh, obviously, if you're at higher altitude, it's going to be slightly lower. Uh, the temperature is required to uh, boil water, but you get the gist. We should be able to cure versamold using boiling water. For this test, I'm just going to use a simple O-ring uh, that I made out of blue puck of versamold. And as soon as this water boils, I'm going to drop it in there. I'm going to leave it in there for about two to three minutes. Then I'm going to pull it out and then I'm going to do the stress test to make sure that it is actually fully cured. So I just want to confirm that it's at 212, even though we all know that it is boiling. A little bit more. And that's 212. So we have confirmed that this water is boiling, even though we see it boiling. I'm gonna drop versamold in here, leave it in there for about two to three minutes, and uh, we'll see what happens. So three minutes has passed. I'm gonna let this cool off. Um, then I'm gonna pour some cool water in here, and then we're going to go through a torture test to see if it actually has cured properly. So the water cooled off, ran some cold water onto it, and this is the final product. Um, I actually want to get an uncured uh, O-ring in here for a comparison because I want to show you just how strong this product is as, as long as it's cured. So I'm just going to uh, split it down the middle. I'm going to use the, the force of uh, both my thumb and my index finger, and I should be able to just pull this right out. Now keep in mind this is the uncured version, and you can already see that it's just stretching, and it'll it'll break you know with very little effort. But this is the cured version. Oh, and it's almost impossible for me to break it. And I'm exerting a fair bit of force to it. I mean, I really can't stretch it much more than this. So this is me trying to break Versamold. As you can see, it's very, very stretchy, very, very tough. And I'm exerting a tremendous amount of force. Now, keep in mind, I didn't uh, try to make this, you know, as strong as possible by blending in these uh, the specific weak point here. But... You know, I'm going to try to pull that part apart in half, and it's just not happening. I mean, I'm finally it broke, and that was a huge amount of effort uh, to actually try to get that to break. But it just goes to show you that you can actually cure verse mold in boiling water. So thanks for watching. If you guys have any comments, please leave them below. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, and if you want to see us make any specific videos using verse mold, let us know in the comments. Thanks a lot.